My Bose PA failed me a few times and I'm gonna have to switch back to my old PA. Yeah, so I was at my gig yesterday, right? My gear suddenly makes this horrible noise. It was so loud and then my mixer wouldn't turn on. So I ended up having to improvise and find a different way to perform. I feel like it is time for me to return to my old PA, which it was a couple of QSC speakers. The cool thing about this is that I'll be able to perform in stereo. I'm expecting a package for my daughter and it's cool because the Amazon app lets you track where the truck is. So I'm gonna see if I can see it with my drone. Hi, how are you? That package is for you. Thank you so much. Now, put it. Now I can put it. Now you can put it. <laughs> I'm gonna run that race. Basura. Esto? Hey, dame, dame. It's for sharing. It's for sharing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna test my current setup with this tiny speaker. But it's already dinner time, so I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to continue. So this is my current setup for live looping. A Godin guitar, the Multia Grand Concert SA. I connect this to a synthesizer. I use a Roland GR20. Now I use a Reverb, the Hall of Fame by TC Electronics. Body Rest, that's a tone enhancer. AB switch, so I can switch back and forth between my ukulele bass and my guitar. Effects for my voice, the VE20 vocal performer. And then the Hatshot by Radial. This is an AB switch for XLR inputs, so I can send my microphone either to the mixer or to a loop station. The way I choose my gear is not what's better, it's what takes longer to break. And this one breaks very easily, so that's why I'm switching to Whirlwind. That's a better XLR AB switch. And then I have a controller for my loop station. And the loop station is a RC505, which I haven't been using that long. I'm still in the honeymoon phase. It's very powerful. The only problem is that sometimes when I'm playing the guitar and I'm playing a solo and all that and then I have to stop a loop, I have to use my hand and that can be a little a little annoying, a little weird. To record my setup, I'm going through the mixer that wouldn't turn on at my gig last time. I was able to get it back on right now. I don't know why. I'm gonna be sending that to repair to Bose as well. For now, let's give it a try and do a little loop with this and record it into my Zoom H6 handy recorder. So you get to hear me looping in a mono setting because it's the only way I can record out of this mixer. basically a little loop using 
a mono setup, let's connect the other mixer and see what it sounds like with the stereo capabilities. be switching over to the Yamaha and the QSC speakers until I'm able to figure out what's wrong with my bow system. Okay guys, so I wanted to use the system for a couple of gigs before giving you my thoughts. And this is what I think. The QSC speakers with the Yamaha mixer and I even used a subwoofer, an EV subwoofer. And I think that that sounded way better than the Bose system. It sounded fuller, more powerful, but it took way longer to set up. And because I do a lot of gigs like this at different venues that don't have their own PA, it actually becomes quite of a hassle. There's of course good things and bad things from both systems. I think I'm gonna send the Bose system to get fixed and continue to use it until I find a, an alternative PA system that allows me for stereo live looping and that sounds as good as the QSC speakers but is as efficient as the Bose system. That was a long video just to come to that conclusion but just like in science you have to experiment and you have to test and try different things until you find what you like. See you guys very soon.